I first became drawn to Nebraska through a poem by Ted Kuzer. I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I just loved the world of the poem. It was something so sort of mysterious and foreign to me. I was born in Washington, D.C. I left after kindergarten, and I've lived in Greece, Switzerland, Thailand, and Turkey. New York is now the longest place I've ever lived anywhere. I went to school for experimental theater in New York City to a program that was very much about creating your own work. So I was constantly being asked, what do you want to say? What do you want to write about? What do you want to perform? The Nebraska theme started playing in my consciousness again, and I started writing about it. And in Prague, I went to an art brute museum full of outsider artists' work, and I saw, I was drawn to this sculpture and saw that the, the sculptor was from Nebraska, and the name of the artist is Emery Blagden. So I found this NET documentary about Emery Blagden, and what was so wild is that seeing, you know, actual footage of him and hearing other people talk about him the person that he really was was exactly what I had imagined in my head. Nebraska to me sort of seemed like the epitome of the mystery that I was trying to solve you know, and what it means to be American. Everything I knew about Nebraska was from poems and images and, you know, so it's, I felt that it was important to physically be here. Well, I gotta give it to Ted Kuzer for capturing it so brilliantly in his poetry, particularly the poem that, that I was first drawn to. So this is Nebraska. The gravel road rides with a slow gallop over the fields, the telephone lines streaming behind, its billow of dust full of the it's sparks. It's almost of everything lines. I imagined. The NET documentary about Emery Blagden wasn't only a source of information, but um, it introduced me to, to the people who had preserved Emery Blagden's story. My biggest sensation in relation to Ted Kuzer's poetry and Emery's sculpture is that it's just very satisfying being here and and physically experiencing all the things that I witnessed through their work. Their work so truly captured this place. <laughs>